Welcome to my video. To get new educational videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful if you could please like and share this video, which I hope will give you a beneficial knowledge. Illuvian fluoxinolone acetonoid intravitreal implant 0.19 mg. The applicator uh, is consisting of the bottom button track and the implant inside the window display. It is 3.5 mm in length and 0.37 mm in diameter and it is non-biodegradable and it has a permeable membrane that releases the uh, steroids very slowly and it's very small as shown here the, this uh, yellow rod and it lasts for three years effectively. Uh, it is injected about from about uh, 25 gauge needle and it is injected inside the vitreous usually in the anterior vitreous you make sure that the unit doesn't have any damage and the assistant is opening it you make sure that the implant is inside the window display as shown here then you take the applicator then we slide the button forward to the first stop at the black lines on the button track and keep the cap on then after preparation of aseptic conditions with um, topical anesthetic drops and Povidone iodine 5% drops to prevent any infection and tetracaine drops on a cotton tipped applicator on the site of injection. Um, then we mark 4 mm from the limbus and always instruct the patient to look up and easily. Then remove the tip and make sure that the needle doesn't have any damage. Keep the implant always horizontal till we inject and then change the direction perpendicular to the sclera. Then you push the button till the end. And you hear the click then with the cotton tipped applicator counter pressure of the needle to move the opening of the conjunctiva from the opening of the sclera then antibiotic drops and you continue for topical antibiotics for one week we check the vision to exclude any central retinal artery occlusion then we examine the eye to check the implant sometimes it is in the anterior vitreous as shown in this case with this white arrow pointing on the yellow rod which is our implant then with the indirect ophthalmoscopy you check the implant and the retina the implant is the yellow rod in the lower part of the vitreous here it is in the upper part of the lens sometimes it is easier to see it posteriorly but in most cases it is very anterior like this case you see here at the tip of the arrow here this yellow rod as shown here then we review the patient in six weeks to check the intraocular pressure then every three months this is a case of a chronic diabetic macular edema that um, the vision was 624 before injections and after six months the vision is 69 and the intraocular pressure is uh, controlled not uh, having any problems with the uh, pressure make sure that the posterior capsule is intact before this injection because it is very toxic to the corneal endothelium if it uh, goes in the anterior chamber 
and make sure if the patient have Yagli's or posterior capsulotomy that the opening is um, inside the optic to avoid any migration of the implant. The NICE guidelines, which is the National Institute of Clinical Excellence uh, in UK, is recommending this implant in chronic diabetic uh, pseudophagic visually impairing macular edema that is insufficiently responsive to other available therapies. And in cases of um, relapsing uh, recurrent non infectious uveitis in the posterior segment. And the contraindication of this implant is having a fakia with iris clipped lens or uh, peripheral iridectomy and previous herpes infection, uh, steroid responders, and on controlled advanced glaucoma and if there is any uh, infections like toxoplasmosis in the posterior segment so exclude any infections and thank you for watching